All right, so uh, let's, uh, for instance, uh, consider the um, the challenge of modeling an, an orange. And by orange, I mean the, the, the fruit, the, the orange uh, fruit. And and so, you know, one of the things that we might uh, consider is that, uh, well, you know, the closest uh, geometry that we can uh, think of uh, as a orange would be that it's a, it's a sphere, right, that has some radius. Um, and now, uh, and perhaps we just, Painted with a color color orange, and, and maybe we, maybe maybe that's enough for the specific uh, application that we might be using. Uh, but uh, certainly, this this looks as like it's a little bit too simple, you know. Especially, you know, obviously, if you're looking at it from far away, uh, maybe that's enough, right? Even even a disc, right, a uh, would be enough to represent an orange from far away, or even even a, a, a snapshot of a of a circle. Uh, an orange circle from far away that's that's plenty uh, but you know as you get closer uh, then then um, then perhaps you know with perspective um, and you might you might uh, as it gets closer maybe you represent it as a disk uh, with polygons and when you get closer maybe you represent it as a sphere and when you're really 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 close right um, then then you you're, you should be close enough to start seeing some of the more nuanced uh, aspects of the of the orange and you you start looking at at um, the orange having a, a, a surface characteristic right? characteristics of having you know a, a skin uh, around uh, the orange and and we see uh, ridges right we see valleys in the in the skin that uh, that describe the surface of, of the orange uh, so so we need to consider well how is it that we would um, we would uh, you know render some of these things Sa same thing with a uh, if you're in a game where you have planets, right, and you're and you're uh, getting close to uh, the planet Mars, and again when it's far away, uh, then maybe just a picture of a round, or you know, orangey or or reddish uh, disc from far away is enough, right? But the closer you get, right, you you see more. You start looking at uh, Olympus Mons, and you start seeing uh, some characteristics on the surface. Uh, and when you get even closer, you start seeing ridges and valleys where you know, water might have uh, been present at some point. And depending on your perspective, um, you might you might see that uh, you know, from different perspective, it might look different. Uh, you see the, the you know the the valleys from far away. You see a horizon, and certainly, obviously, when you're on the on on the surface, uh, you know, if a crater, you could totally see the the ridges and whatnot. So, but but you know, if if you're not right on the surface, right, and, and you're seeing it from orbit. Right. How is it that you would would uh, uh, you know simulate uh, all these ridges uh, on the planet? And, and again, what, 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 what the point we're trying to make here is that uh, obviously a sphere and you painted red reddish uh, might be too simple. Uh, but uh, on the other extreme, uh, using you know polygons, you know millions of polygons to try to render all these ridges uh, might be a little bit too much, right? And so we, we're trying to look for. Uh, for the better, the best of both worlds, right? Something that it's not trivial, but it's also not unwieldy, right? So that that's that's where we are going to try and look at using images that uh, we can wrap around our planet, uh, wrap around our fruits uh, that uh, can give us the same sense of um, of real realism, right? Without uh, breaking uh, the bank.